We'll update the results coming up. Well, we are just five days away from Christmas, if you can believe it. And this week, volunteers are putting together gifts of food and toys and books so some can have a Merry Christmas. WBIR 10 News anchor Heather Walga is live as the Empty Stocking Fund works to help families in need. Good morning. Russell and Abby, good morning to you. You know, right now there are 3,000 boxes waiting to be filled. And later today, hundreds of volunteers will show up right here to the Jacob building to help just do that. All the food is waiting. And we have Tess Woodall here with the new Sentinel Empty Stocking Fund with us this morning. Good to see you. Now, this takes months of planning and fundraising that goes into this. It does. We have been planning for this all year, and we are so excited to be able to help uh, to almost 10,000. East Tennesseans that might go hungry this Christmas with a basket full of food. Talk about the need here in East Tennessee, especially this time of year. Yeah, the need is so great. There's so many kids and families that might not have food for Christmas. So we are so excited to be able to give them a huge basket of food that really is going to last them for over a week for a family of four. So talk about what goes into the basket. This is the food here. This is the food. So everything from canned goods to bread, rolls, uh, peanut butter, cake mix, all types of um, things that's going to last them through an entire week as long as uh, well as a huge turkey for Christmas dinner. Wow. Okay. So the volunteers are coming here later today and you have a lot of people coming. We do. So this week we have over a thousand volunteers. Um, today what they're going to be doing is actually filling the baskets full of food to get it ready and staged to go out to our um, community. All right. It's going to be a big day, a big really, job. Really excited. All right. And coming up later in our last in our next half hour, we're going to talk about uh, the just the history behind this because this has been around for a really long time and we're going to tell you how you can still help there is still time